The AI tools that we have available today are so impressive that when I was filmmaking back in the early 90s, I know this is showing my age, I wish I had these tools. I mean, it is super incredible. Adobe has this thing called the Podcast AI tool that basically fixes any audio that sounds like crap. Now, I am using the Sennheiser MKH 416. This is a $1,000 microphone, and what you're listening to is basically what it sounds like straight out of the camera. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch over to the internal microphone of the A7R5. We're not gonna use this fancy mic, and then I'm gonna use post-processing from Adobe Podcast AI to see how that sounds like. So now what you're listening to is the internal microphone of the A7R5. And we're at a park, it's pretty loud, there's a fountain back there, there's kids screaming. I mean, it's, it's, it's a park, okay? Now, we're gonna flip the switch. So you're gonna be listening to the Adobe Podcast AI. And it sounds pretty good. It probably sounds like I have a microphone like right here in front of me. The thing is, from my experience using it, it sounds a little bit over-processed. Like I wish Adobe had like some sort of meter where you can either tone it down a bit or like be able to adjust it because like I said, it tries to basically take your voice and analyzes it and it does some weird stuff to it where it sometimes even sounds a little bit robotic. But nonetheless, would you rather have something that sounds like this, where obviously now you're starting to hear everything, or would you rather have something that sounds like this, where now it's starting to sound obviously like if I'm in a room, you do get rid of all the elements outside, so I feel like you do have to bring that back. Otherwise, it sounds a little too unreal, but I think it's pretty damn impressive. Now I'm here back at the studio and I wanna show you guys how I was able to do all of this. I'm gonna leave a link down below to the Adobe Podcast AI tool website and I believe you do need an Adobe account to be able to use this. Now, because this is in beta, there are some limitations which I'll go over right now. For example, you can only upload WAV files or MP3 files. You can't upload like a video file. So that's kind of like the thing is you have to export the audio file from your movie clip or if you're recording audio separately, then you can do it that way, which can be a pain because there's a whole round trip involved. There's also a one hour max duration. Now keep in mind, I believe that because this is called Adobe Podcast that it's obviously designed to be used for podcasting. Meaning that if you're doing a podcast, you're obviously gonna have pretty good audio or at least decent audio. So the fact that this is able to process audio where it doesn't sound as good, meaning internal microphone outside with a lot of noise is pretty impressive. There's also a three hour limit, daily limit, where you can upload. So if you have obviously more than three hours, you're gonna have to break it up into a different day or in chunks if your podcast is over an hour. Uh, with that being said, once you upload, you can just drag and drop your file you are able to listen to what it's going to sound like. So it has a little before and after. If I hit play here, you'll hear it sound before. I have a microphone like right here. And then if I hit this enhanced speech tool, watch. But I mean, the thing is, from my experience using it, it sounds a little bit over processed. So that's kind of cool that you're able to listen what it's going to sound like. And then from here, you can actually download it directly. Then you would have to sync it back up into your NLE. And then that's it, that's basically it. I mean, this is pretty cool. I've actually already used it in one of my projects where the audio was not as great and this actually fixed it. I don't think that this is gonna be something that I'm gonna be using on a daily because of the whole round trip process, but I do feel that if Adobe is able to implement this into like Adobe Premiere Pro and you're able to also have different settings and change the aggressiveness and be able to tweak it, I think this tool can be pretty amazing. But the fact that it's beta and, the, and it works really well is just very promising for the future of all of these crazy AI things that are happening right now. Anyhow, let me know in the comment section down below if this is something that you guys would actually use. I think it's very promising, obviously exciting for us filmmakers, creators, because this is something that, you know, let's say you forgot your microphone or it just doesn't sound as good. This can actually save you. Anyway, my name is Armando. Thanks again for watching, and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.